everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Dishonored! So we're slowly making our way into this place. But there's a lot of people here. And I gotta see if we can take them all out. Let's see. What's this lead? I don't think we've been in here before yet, have we? There's so many of his statues! They're literally everywhere! <laughs> Is that all that's in here? Looks like it. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know if you can hear my cat. She's sitting here next to me. <laughs> she has a lot to say. Okay, I don't even know where she came from. Where did she come from without seeing any bodies? <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. Okay. Now, let's see. This place has a lot of enemies. Oh! Is that the dog you were talking about? Probably. That might be... Who might that be? Restrict an errant mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same the body? No, for the first will direct it one way, and the second thought I could another. look through the lock. Until they stumble, I couldn't. Two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in a man's mind, or he will become weak with and subject to any There you go. I think people said killing dogs doesn't count. It is such a little one. Damn it! Someone's down! Oops. Didn't go according to plan. Fully running out of these darts. Hmm. Oh. Influence of the outside. Brother, with an anxious heart, I respond to your letter. If your suspicion is true, I have grave misgivings about those Pre uh, presiding over Dunwall Tower. I've only recently resolved my disagreements with the Abbey, and it has come upon me as a surprise that some are lobbying for me to take up the mantle of High Overseer, but despite all that's going on, I hope to advise you personally in this matter. Last time you wrote, you speculated that the mute who serves as a torturer within Dunwall Towers might be a follower of the Outsider. He has an odd countenance, his tongue is twisted and he cannot speak, and a wolfhound follows him about. Add to this the incomprehensible groaning and a litany of the repeated whispers you hear coming from his chambers at night, and it seems certain. At first I found it hard to believe. How could one I admire so, such as the Lord Regent, allow this to go unchecked within his own house? Surely he must respect the seven strictures. But now I see the pieces arranged before me. I must tell you, it aligns with a vision experienced by one of our sisters from the ocular, uh, oracular sect. Coming to me in the night, she spoke, Silence inflicts pain, and a hound's shadow follows the puppet of the outsider. Your position at the tower has been of great use to our orders, order, and there is no shame in reporting back to me. You are an overseer, first and foremost, and it is your sole duty to protect the world of men from the malevolent influences of the outsider. Tell no others of this and await my instructions. I must wonder how high up into Dunwell Tower this corruption has spread. Martin. There we go. So, those didn't go so well. <laughs> this will put you there. At least you're together. I thought one arrow should kill a dog, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. That didn't go exactly according to plan. Overseer chant. Restrict an error in mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same body? No, for the first will direct it one way and the second another, until they stumble into a ditch. Likewise, two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in a man's mind, or he will become weak-willed and subject to any heresy. Restrict a lying tongue that is like a spark in a man's mouth. It is such a little thing, yet from one spark an entire city may burn to the ground. The father of a lie will suffer as a punishment, compounded by each person related. Restrict roving feet that love to trespass. They pay no heed to the boundary stones of other men's fields. They wander into foreign lands only to return with their souls blackened by 
iniquity? Okay. Jeez. What room is this? Let's see. Anything else here? Looks like that's about it. Close this door. Now. Let's see where this leads. Oh, leads to this room as well. You know what we should do? Oh, wrong button. Well, I guess this works. I guess that works. It's not what I wanted to do, though. It's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> what I wanted to do. There you go. First time we've possessed someone like this. I th Ooh. Keep skulking around. Ooh. Okay. I know something's up. Oh. There's someone here. Notice. There you go. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Almost went wrong again. Jeez. <laughs> this game is quite difficult. There you go. Oh. Where did he even come from? Enemies keep coming from everywhere. Keep coming from everywhere. Whew. Now, another body got up. <laughs> this door I can't close, right? No. Let's see. Okay. This leads to a whole other place again. Jeez. <laughs> This place is so massive. There's so much to do. We read this already? No. Nope. Except for a report on thuggish gang activities. Clavering Boulevard leading to the office of the High Overseer is still under tight control. The city watch is stretched thin, but they have dedicated checkpoints on Clavering with associated patrols. Additionally, there has been talk of erecting some of the new Sokolov security systems to protect the street, which is home to several persons of note, in addition to leading several vital businesses. The adjacent streets are another matter. Bottle Street in particular and the old Dunwell Whiskey Distillery are currently controlled by Slackjaw and his Bottle Street gang. Not much is known about Slackjaw except that he has been particularly active during the plague crisis, as part of his illegal business revolves around the distribution of anti-plague elixir. The watch has been slow in cracking down the operation. And another book. The Isle of Tivia, also new. Excerpt from a volume on Tivian geography and culture. Northernmost among the, uh, the isles, Tivia is dominated by snarling mountain ranges that rise up from frozen plains. Travel between cities involves arduous treks through territory thickly infested with terrible bears and packs of hounds adapted to the climate. Despite these conditions, Tivian art, architecture, food, and fashion are ornate and complex, marked by an intricate refinement that perhaps arose as a counterpoint to the cold, harsh land itself. While people in the lower city of Carlton share uh, much with their nearest neighbors in Morley, most Tivians are a breed apart, shaped by generations of life in the inhospitable colds. Austere and regal, Tivians are proud of their customs, food, and history, and have little concern for the Isles of the South. To the south. Okay. This is in steel. Ooh. These guys, oh, they heard that. 
Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth stealing in this room. So then we've almost done this bottom part, I think. Oh no, there's this whole other room, of course, to go. Cool that we can hide under here. We've never done something like that before. <laughs> Present yourself. Don't make me find you. I'll feed your heart to the house. Uh, are you shooting at? Huh? Where are you? Yeah, where am I? How did I lose it? I'm gonna find you, whoever you are. <laughs> There you go. Uh -huh. yeah, it's dying. It's dying, Firing. How did you know? Seriously, how did you know? You. Oh. How did they all know? How did they know where I was? I don't understand. Okay, well... <laughs> mm. Didn't go great. Didn't go great. But at least there's a whole, whole lot more guys taken out, I guess. <laughs> a lot more taken out, actually. Oh, I think I see another book here. There you go. Have we read this? No. Exit from an overview of the Academy. Squatting at the edge of Dunwall, the Academy of Natural Philosophy is an ancient educational institute. Bustling with young students and old philosophers, alchemists, cosmo uh, cosmologists, and vivisectionists. The best minds from across the aisles gather here to study all of nature, including the human corpus, the celestial heavens, and a physical universe. No one is allowed inside except esteemed members and a few students accepted each year after a long and arduous application process. Those living nearby can only puzzle at the exotic shipments seen coming from the river and passing through the back doors or wrinkle their noses at the odd smells that emerge from the smokestacks uh, top. Royal Physician, Royal Physician, there you go, Anton Sokolov is currently head of the academy. Okay, there you go. So... Have we done everything down here now, guys? Down, all done. It's down, down, done. I mean, there might still be. Oh, oops, guys, here. Yeah, they're still here. Jeez. They have not left yet. Um. So, that part from downstairs we haven't explored yet, which I do want to explore before we move on. And then here, that room we've done. Let's see over here. Then this door, I guess we want to go. Let's open that. Okay. Oh, there's a random red. Let's see. I hear there's a bone charm there. A rune there. There. So much, guys. Oh, wait, this might lead around to the... Yeah, it does. Okay. Tales for Children. Have we read this? Yeah, we have. These guys suck. <laughs> Where does this lead? I want to take out those guys. Mm. Yeah, I gotta take them out. But how? How am I gonna do that? Like, there we go. 
Ooh. Here you are. Assassin, help. Plank him. Damn it. Where'd he go? I know you're here somewhere, scum. Ooh. There you go. Okay. Jeez. Well, we managed. I'm gonna put this guy... Yeah, where? <laughs> In here, I guess. There's a good room. Next to the toilet. There you go. Whew. Okay, that didn't go exactly according to plan. <laughs> but we managed. Without losing another arrow, because I'm almost out of arrows. Oh. There you go. Okay, and then we just close the door! Like nothing happened! <laughs> if only I could do that with all of my problems, guys. <laughs> if only. There you go. Easy peasy. Now we can finally explore this whole place. Finally. Let's see. I'm gonna use this just to make sure we find all the things. Full coin. Should also point out keys and stuff like that, right? Just like the kind of place that might also have some keys laying around. Right. Let's see some food. I think we have we been here? No. Oh, where does this lead? Just another way up, I guess? Maybe? Okay. Well, I guess let's go there for a second, see where it leads. Oh! Ah! Back here in the kitchen! Oh, interesting. Oh, I had no clue. Okay. Well, I guess that's another mystery solved. Then this whole hallway is done now, right? I think we did it all now. Yeah, you went in there. Okay, then there's only the end here that we can do. Um, and then upstairs, I think. There's something here. Oh, this might this might lead to the guy. Yeah, the torture chambers. Time does not work well enough to escape that. Thought he wasn't supposed to still be able to walk. Ooh. Jeez. This guy is creepy. Jesus. <laughs> this guy is really creepy. Holy shit! I thought Ben Time should stop time. No? <laughs> this guy is creepy. He just walks right through it. Ugh. What a creep. Fishing clues. The torture is in Dunwall Tower and it's the perfect time to get revenge on a monster who afflicted so much pain. Yeah, but we don't kill things, do we? But I kind of want to kill him. Again. Go. Ow. 
ow, 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 ow. Oh. Jeez. Okay. Within the high walls of your enemy's strong. It's out of four found. Impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. I don't trust this guy one bit. End his reign by blood or by truth. He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things, make it all right again, and crown a new empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. I don't trust you one bit. <laughs> Not one bit. Oh, poor body. Jesus Christ. And he's just kept hitting it. What the freak? I might still kill him. I'm gonna read this. Deary, oh deary, deary, down in the cellar so dreary. Why won't you come out to see me? I knew it! <gasps> this, this is Granny Rag's son, right? We, all the way back in the beginning of the game, we read this message and she was talking about her son who was working in the tower, right? This is him. Why won't you come out to see me? When you were here, we made them scream, didn't we? Come back to visit and I'll give you another present, carved and shiny. You aren't much in the way of proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch you work. Come back and I'll tell you stories. Such stories, your dear granny. Jesus freaking Christ. What the freak? I think I'm gonna kill him. Kill him. I wanna kill him. There you go. <laughs> I just had to, guys. I'm sorry. For anyone who... who likes to not see as much bloodshed, like, come on. This guy had to die. What the freak? <laughs> they say no one is truly evil, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, and why would I kill his dog and not kill that guy? Nah, he had to die. He had to die. So that part is done. And I don't think there was like a, a sweet way out as in, oh, you can also just not kill him. Can I? There you go. Or as in you can like render him unconscious and then it still counts. Maybe I would have still found a way. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. But he... <laughs> he was so evil! Okay, now... We have one there, rune. Then a bone charm up. Okay. Now, we did do everything down, I think, so it's time to go up. This place is so massive. of light is at least disabled so that's good so many ways to go so many ways to go come in here speaker system hmm only one way into the room but she's standing there that does make things a little bit difficult. There's all these things there as well. Light. You can turn it. Ah! Well, there we go! Wow! I was wondering how we'd get there. That's so cool! Huh. Emily, my daughter. I know that one day you'll be grown up. And I wonder what you'll remember of these years. Oh, Will is this her secret room? A child with fondness? Or were there too many caretakers, formal dinners and lessons about boring old history? <laughs> Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope the season of rats oh, and plague will it's not be her mother. I thought it was her a mother. passing shadow oh. on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisors. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. It's a tricky life, full of responsibility and peril. It was not your choice to be the daughter of an empress, 
but I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling stories. Aww. And only share your power with those you truly trust. Her power? What does she mean by that? Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Gotta take my cat away. There you go. Okay, so we got a new bone charm. Uh, spiritual pull? You regenerate mana slightly faster? Oh, actually, that could be pretty nice. Um, I think we don't necessarily need to health one. I'm gonna put that on. Empress to Corval. Oh, Corval, I have missed you while you've been away. If I could trust anyone else with these matters, I would gladly send them so you could remain close. But there is no one else. The plague has taken so many. The spy master was right to insist that I send you. When you are away, every day seems a heavy burden. Even simple tasks seem worrisome. Emily is difficult to manage, and the great troubles of the city, the conflict, and the plague all seem, seem insurmountable. But when you are near, it's different. My heart is at peace. I think we've read that already? No, we haven't. Aww. I feel so sorry for her. Okay, now... Someone in here... Standing there. Let's do a little, a little of this. There you go. Whoop. Put you in the corner. Ish. In the corner ish. <laughs> oh. There you go. The daughter of Tivia. Have you read this? Yeah, we've had. Okay. Oh, a key. Lord Regent's chamber key. Yes, please. I feel like that's probably good to have. Is that all that's in here? Oh! Oh, a music box guy. <gasps> e. He came out of nowhere. Sometimes they really just come out of nowhere. I mean, I know they don't literally, but like for me, <laughs> I have no clue where he came from. <laughs> I feel like it was empty here. Oh, look. Is there a bra under there? Oh, well, <laughs> my bad. Would it count as well if they find this music box thing? Would that count as them like being like, ah, something's up? I'm gonna snore in here. General Tobias quarters. There's no one in here at least. Okay, that's good. Um, small scale combustion refinements? Ooh, an upgrade. Okay. Awesome. That's good to have. Anything else here besides the book? Let's get the book. Read that? No, that's new. The real spy master. Except from the historical rec uh, record of the government positions and ranks. Um, it is said that the office of royal spy master has existed for as long as there have been emperors and empresses. However, in the earliest days of the Empire, this position existed in secrecy. Only after the Morley insurrection was the position publicly acknowledged, due to the tremendous role that the acting spymaster played in quelling the rebellion. Originally, members of the military or officers of the City Watch were advocated for the role, chosen by uh, the Admiralty. In recent years, the outgoing spymaster has made recommendations on his replacement from the small uh, cater? of espionage agents serving him. In this way, con uh, continuity is preserved, since many of the covert projects undertaken by the government are not committed to writing, only communicating whispers behind secure doors. This leads to the most common critique of the office of the royal spymaster, that actions are taken and deeds are committed that even the emperor or empress is not aware of. This lack of oversight or accountability is a commonly debated topic during the parliamentary sessions. But those who hold the position of royal spymaster insist that in order to function, the role must exist outside existing bureaucracy or law. Okay. Interesting. Now... Uh, find a broadcaster. So, why did we have to go into his room? Close. 
Try to go into the room next to this, I guess? Why do we have to go into this guy's room? What am I missing? I don't know. Why I had to go into that guy's room? Hmm, wait. Where is it? Oh no, it's there. Okay. So, we've done one side of the things now, I guess. We've done one side of all the things. So now let's do the other side before we move on to in front of us. Hmm. Move from one place to the other, maybe? These places are massive. This. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I just want to kind of like make. Okay. So we've been on this other side. Oh, okay. This is where. Okay. Let's start here then. Then we're making a circle now. That's good. So I guess this place now? See if that's new. Yes! The Whalers! Exit from a journalist report on organized criminal activity. One gentleman of a, uh, advanced age swore that his brother has been taken by the Whalers, a notorious gang associated with the man called Dodd. According to Peter Mansfeld, his brother Radoff was proud of working with the Royal Spymaster's Responsible Citizens Group. Feeling no shame in reporting on what he perceived as shady dealings by his rivals at the fish markets. But this might have been the source of his trouble. On the sixth evening of the month of hearts, Radoff came storming into Peter's home, white-faced and panic-stricken, claiming to have been chased by a group of ruffians wearing the leather suits and vapor masks used by the men working in the wheel oil factories. Peter gave him supper and drinks, sending him on his way later in the night, after which Radoff was never again seen. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. Yes, that's good to have. Thank you very much. So that just leads around to here then. But what is this room over here? Obviously some sort of library. We can go up and down with a thing in the middle maybe? Oh, this just leads to there. Ah, oh, I missed one coin. God damn it, should I get the coin? I'm gonna get the coin. Okay, no. Oh. There you go. <laughs> we got the one coin we missed. Any books that we can read? I don't think so, right? Okay. So this side isn't that interesting yet so far. Then, um... This door we haven't been into yet. Okay. More rats. Okay. Nothing here. Just a rewire tool, I guess. Seems. Oh no. Oh, but we're full. Okay. Seems like that was it here then. Okay, well, then we're going to end the episode here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.